next day it is okay <laughs> um welcome to my channel y'all and in this video i had something like wrote up quick that i wanted to put up here because i was supposed to be you know doing my self-care today and stuff like that but i'm like um i feel like i need to go ahead and record this video and get it out because i had prayed about it and stuff like that so yeah so and it's something they've been weighing on me for a minute like uh, it's been weighing on me for a minute but it ain't really that much of a stressor now it's like I don't know, I feel like it I didn't got used to, I didn't start overlooking it, or it ain't been as much. So it's just been like, oh, okay, well, I'm good. Okay, so I said, let's talk about the dangers of becoming too spiritual. It can be times where I was so up in the clouds, I felt like I didn't have an original thought to my name. Like every single time I said something or I thought something, somebody else would end up saying something similar or I would think of somebody and then they end up hitting me up and it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Or they'll, they'll text me something about something that I'm thinking about. Like, it was just weird. Like, I didn't like that at all. And I think that has a lot to do with like, oh, when you, just, when you start trying to open your third eye and stuff like that. Not that I ever had to do that. Like when I was younger, I feel like I was just sensibly, um, what's the word? I said sensibly um spiritually in tune anyways so it was like i was already sensitive in spirit so i could see things and stuff like that and i was little but it had stopped for a good long good good long amount of time until um until i got until 2016 when i got back around um when i got back around but got around my god sister number whatever so but so let's see where I was at. Um, I was all I felt so hyper aware and like I could read or sense what people was feeling or thinking all the time and though I wasn't always right and that wasn't completely true, I could tell I wasn't the only one feeling like this just because I've been seeing it around me. It's like I, I feel like, and then me, me and this one girl was talking, I ain't gonna say me and my friend, but this girl that I had met or whatever, um, being able to read, like, messages through music and see what it's trying to say to you, and, like, not, not like that now, but it was like that a while ago, because it was like, I couldn't overlook that every single time something was going on, it was like, it was too specific or lining up too well to the point where it's just like, I had to stop listening to music for a while, because it was like, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be listening to right now. Like, is this misguiding me or is this, like, what is this? I just want to chill. Like, I remember just turning a song, you just turned up to the beat and it didn't have all these subliminals in it. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, it's like, what is that? Um, I'm feeling like I can sense what people are feeling or thinking or that people could do that with me because it would just be so weird how everything would just be lining up around me. And I'm like, I am no, I'm not the only one going through this because I had a friend, like, who was in a car riding and she was listening to music and she turned off this song she was like oh i feel i be having to turn off certain music because i feel attacked and i'm like girl first of all i ain't say nothing but i'm just like because i be feeling like that too but i'm not gonna say nothing because what is that like what is that i didn't like that no and i feel like that has a lot to do with the fact that you know everybody decides to deep dive into spirituality and everything is not for everybody and even if it is for you, it's not it's not meant for everybody to go so deep into it. Like, especially prematurely. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I was getting into a lot of things that I just wasn't ready for at the moment. Or that I used to be ready for, but I seemed to have a drawback with. Because it was like when I was younger, the deepest of things never bothered me. But now it's just be like, I'll be like, oh my God, does everything have to be so serious, so deep all the time? Like, it, it is, it's just not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it should not be that personal when it comes to certain things. Like, with a lot of things with people, with, with energies and feelings that I be having, and that I be sensing off of people and everything. It just be like, it makes you want to stay to yourself. But, and being hypersensitive to emotions and feelings of others will have you want to stay to yourself. Because, like, you want to get out and just feel like everything is a vibe sometimes you know we're just having a good time instead of feeling like everything has to be thought out or you have to be so careful all the time like you know mm -mm. um what i would say also everything feels so heavy like i remember just walking up and living 
people were just waking up and living and now it feels like I always need God or something or someone to keep me going and I know I always um need God anyways but some but something just feels forced like the energies these days overall just feel forced I tend to feel um when I'm out and about and sometimes it's hard to tell who and what is real or fake that's why I just isolate but also crave connections so also having a number of people say things to me that are specific and all like specific and repeatedly like I'll go somewhere and something like I'm gonna just put this into thought okay I was around somebody and I was feeling like a lot of people had this point of view of me with certain things and so he was like um he passed me this cup and he was like um make yourself useful and I was like hmm because it verified what it verified and it made me feel the type of way and I didn't say anything but I asked him you just tell me like make myself useful and then you know like <laughs> it, it was a family it was a family member but I laughed it out because I'm like oh, okay this is how he be anyways this is how he be anyways and stuff like that but at the same time it's like hmm so then I end up going to this event later on after that like probably like some weeks weeks on probably like a month or two after and I heard like this girl I hadn't been around in a minute this lady I hadn't been around in a minute said the same thing to me and a couple of other people so I'm like And that's not the only scenario that's just one of the scenarios that i remember like that comes to mind but it was plenty of other scenarios like that it was not the same thing being said but it was something that i know i had been feeling of other people and for somebody to come out of that mouth and say it and then somebody else to say it again that, that has no nothing to do with the person that said it previously but yet they're saying the same things well, what is that that's just like um it's in the same scenario somebody had said something to my mom and then and it threw me off and i'm just like hmm okay and then the next person turned around and said the same thing and i'm just like what is that what like what what is the what is the reason for that what is the purpose of that like i don't be getting maybe a lot of weird stuff going on and it, and it throws me off sometimes and that's why i be to myself and i feel like a lot of people find themselves getting too deep off into spirituality to the point where they start trying to figure you out when spirituality is supposed to be about self and i had my ways like that at one point but it wasn't with a lot of people it really would only be with people that i felt like was too eager to want to be near me or something like that and sometimes you know it don't be no problem with that but in other times i see why i should have you know kept to myself and stuff like that and i don't know y'all it just feels like a losing a losing game like you feel like you're getting closer to god but this this how it feels okay feeling like you're not good enough to be going to church because you're still sinning but you want to get around you know you want to go to church and be in the church house more because you know that you need god and you need community to be able to pull off all the the negatives of isolation that isolation brings and stuff like that you know you want people that are going to bring you closer to god and what better place to find them than a church but it feels like when you go into the church you, you don't really get the same amount of love as you would get when you go out a party like now and i realize that like why is it now you can step into a building you can step into a church and you can feel more negative energy in a church than you may feel at the doggone at a doggone party or kickback like that's not to say go party if you're trying to get close to god because even my last video was just like about being lukewarm and i mean y'all i'm not trying to say this okay at all i'm actually trying to come out of being lukewarm and it's hard like it's, it's real hard to stop being something that you've been for a long time so i've just been isolating but also not isolating to the point where i feel like um I don't even feel connected to nobody but sometimes it feels like when i want to connect with people they don't want to connect with me when i want to be to myself that's when everybody want to connect with me and i just be trying to figure out what is that i want to be myself not everybody pulling towards my energy but when i want to be around people it's like they're distancing themselves and it's just like and it's a push and pull thing and i be trying to figure out what is that so that's why i just been focusing on getting closer getting closer with god but my thing is it's like when you get closer with god you have to be very careful about your surroundings and the people that you keep near you because you may feel like you need to do this you need to do that and they may feel like oh you could just do this you could just do that and i have been that person i have been that person sometimes but at the same time 
some people will do the same things that you do in a different way and then feel like oh because they do it this way they're doing it better and it's not to say that nobody knows the correct way that you're supposed to be living life or getting closer to god but there always is a better way and if somebody can help you point it out you know how to balance out your scales or whatever then you should be willing to listen and mm -hmm. I don't know, y'all. It just be feeling like spirituality. It almost feels like I, I will. I will be honest to say I can understand why people. Some people decide to just be atheists, or some people decide not to just not you know not to believe in anything. But in the same sense, I can never be that because I need God to keep me going. I need God like I need God, y'all. I can't. I, I'm not one of those Christians that's gonna get up and act like they perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I need the Lord. I need God. I need God to keep me going. I need God to show me which way to go. I need God to show me, you know, I need him at all, at all given times. But I remember a time when I used to get up and I just used to feel like I had God. You feel what I'm saying? I used to get up and feel like God was always with me. And now it's like I feel like that sometimes. But I have my moments where I feel so, like I have my moments where I feel so disconnected. Like extremely disconnected. What is that? Like, what is it? Yeah, I know I'm not the only one feeling it. Like, there's a lot of people be on social media. Like, is it is it crazy? The time is moving so fast, and any it seems like any and everything goes. Like, people just be like whatever they do, whatever, and just because it makes them happy or comfortable, that's just the life that you're supposed to live. Like, I don't know, and I be like that too. Like, and I be having to tell myself, like, you can't keep um praising god all the time and then saying you want to go out and party too like that ain't, at, at one point you got to choose at one point you got to choose like at one point you got to get to that point where you say this ain't gonna be that it's it's gonna be me and god and because when i realized like one thing about the fast lane you be so happy in that moment when you be turned up and then you can't even remember what happened the next day. Like, I remember stuff, but at the same time, I'd be too drunk or too high. And I'm so glad that I stopped smoking. Shout out to my um, my old best friend, Pat, or whatever. He was like, I don't think you should be smoking weed. It's not in the Bible. This, that, and the third. And my mind has actually been in a much better place ever since that, I, you know, I stopped smoking weed or whatever. But I still be drinking and it's like I be having things going on in my life to the point where I be feeling like I need to see I need to drink not smoke because I don't I don't even have the desire to smoke anymore honestly I got high probably like um a couple more times after me and him had the conversation and it was like the worst high ever and the last time I had the worst experience with getting drunk was the last time that I got drunk probably like I want to say like a week like the weekend like a week ago or whatever like so i feel like god is trying to tell me like get right now or like you gotta go all in and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to go all in with god like i'm trying to go all in with god to the point where i'm not gonna be perfect but i can do better like i want to i want to be able to do better like i want to be able to wake up and just know like i ain't got a question whether or not god got me because i'm living the right way so he got me regardless I ain't got to ask for forgiveness and constantly feel like I got to repent because I'm not constantly cussing and, and, and drinking and and partying. Like, and, and yeah, and yeah, I do be want to, like, turn up sometimes, but I don't know. That's something that God going to have to work on with because it, it's even like with secular music. You be like, oh, let your secular music go and stuff like that. But can we talk about the fact that when you decide to step away from the worldly ways and stuff like that it just it'd be different like <sighs> it'd be different y'all it'd be different and i'm not gonna say just just worldly like because everything everybody had a personal convictions and people do have their own lanes but that doesn't mean just get out here and do any and everything and say yeah god got me because he may he may do he do he does have me but the last time i got drunk i felt like I felt that that sense of you, you better you better get right like my head was hurting so freaking bad my stomach was hurting and my head was hurting to the point where it felt like I had a migraine it felt like my freaking mind was just twisting up and I'm just like oh my gosh like my head was just hurting so bad I'm like I ain't never had no never <laughs> 
never had no doggone high like that off of no I said I had never had no drunk like that, no no freaking hangover like that. Never like it kinda scared me, y'all, because I'm like I had never blanked out like that. Like I passed out before by being I mean, um, drunk, but I passed out and was fully conscious. Like, I was fully aware. I just couldn't move. And then after I moved, after I was able to move, I was straight. But I was straight up on the floor in the bathroom. Like, at my mama crib, and she like, you, you good? You know, what, what did they, what type of drink did you have? Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling that bad. Like, it's nothing. And I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna say you have to be holier than, than thou. Like, it's nothing for me to take a little sip and go sit at a little spot and get me some little food and just chill and vibe out to some music but just getting sloppy toe up and drunk and you know what what is the purpose of that and i feel like one of my main things is my thing is it could be like they do for fun i feel like anybody who say they just getting drunk for fun is a liar <laughs> that's how i feel because there's no way you're just doing this for fun no it's something that you're running from it's something that you're going through because i tell anybody in a minute i drink because i be tired baby i be over it i be trying to cope i be overwhelmed but now i'm getting to that point where i feel like i want to overcome and i don't want to feel like oh i'm just supposed to be in the be in the middle and stuff like that no i want to do better i want to be that girl that step out on the scene like and i used to be that girl like that step out on the scene and know oh yeah she's a good girl she's straight like not saying that i'm no bad girl but i know now that i'm a little different than what i was and it's like i had to be doing better you know what i'm saying and this ain't no good girl gone bad like baby <laughs> this this ain't that like I have my ways. I ain't perfect. No, no doubt about it. But uh -oh. it's time to get right. Yeah, I feel like that's why, and I, and that's what I'm getting at. That's why I feel like, and I feel like a lot of people are experiencing this, and this is why. And I, I know I've always been one of those people that God makes me experience what a collective of people may be feeling as well at a time. Because I can be able to speak to them and I don't mind telling people what I'm going through so it helps people so I know like if I'm feeling like this I am not the only one feeling like that I know it like when I when I'm feeling something I know I'm not the only one feeling like that and I be seeing it like I be knowing like mm -mm. so when it's time to get right if, if you're watching this video man, let this be your sign boo. let this be our sign if you want to be we can encourage each other you can get in the comment section Speak your truth, your yo, yo, whatever you need to say. I pray for you. We can go back and forth, whatever, whatever. Never, never mind it. But let this be your sign to get right with well, God. Like, do better, get right. If you know it's time for you to tighten up with your walk with God, do that because, uh uh. <sighs> what is this on my nail? But yeah, if you know it's time to get right, then get right. Because me right here, I've been trying to get right. And anything that I feel like is not leading me in the in the direction, my Bible, I just got a notification. Anything that I feel like is not leading me in the direction of getting right, I be like, oh, I don't want to talk. Let me lean back a little bit because I'm not going to have no nothing pulling me back from the direction that God is pulling me to. Whether that be in in a friend, in a relationship, a family bond, whatever the case may be. Hey, if God is leading me in this direction, if God is leading me to these people, to this place or whatever, and I got somebody in the background telling me this ain't that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because just because you can get away with that doesn't mean that I can't. And pe people do have different experiences with God. So it's like, no, if he's being strict and stern on me, baby, it just just let me do do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Just let me do what I do. So, or if anything, I look at, I look at if he's being strict and stern on me and we, are, and we are around each other. 
And if I and I don't even feel comfortable to just tell people stuff all the time. So if I feel comfortable to open up to you about that in some way or shape or form, God, maybe God is trying to tell you something through my experiences. Like you going through certain stuff that you didn't think you would, you would be going through. Maybe you need to reevaluate your everyday living, it's like the way you're living every day. Because I do that every day. I'm always, and I hate that, and I hate that so bad. Yeah, like I hate that so bad. I'm always trying to figure out, God, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? And when I see what I'm doing right, I see what I'm doing right, and I just be like, okay, cool. But when I see what I'm doing wrong, I be like, okay, let me fix that. And I'm not the type of person that'll sit on it. Like some people will sit on what they're doing wrong for a minute. No, I be mean, the moment that I feel something different and shift in my energy, and I feel like maybe that ain't the best route. I be like, God, how can I be better? <laughs> I'm very much a perfectionist. Like I can't. I can't play. Like I don't believe in like this ain't this ain't for play. This is real life. You see how 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 it's getting out in the real world. Like, you know, people come up missing every day. People getting jacked up. People steady passing. Like, no, baby, it's time to get right. Get right. For real. For real. Yeah. I used to be to a point where for these type of situations. I didn't have to really talk to many people about it. I could just pray about it and then I'd be straight. But it's something about me where it's like, I can't do that no more. I could be living completely the correct way, y'all. And stuff would be still going wrong in my life if I don't share my experiences. Like, if I don't share my experiences with people, if it may help them, stuff will still go wrong in my life. And I realize that that's why I, I take my YouTube series more serious now because I, I feel the difference when I share my experiences with people is like I know it's helping somebody if 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 even only one view like if even only one view I feel like okay that's that's helping somebody that may be helping somebody and I may have that one view who may be sitting around in a room with like five people or whatever. But I know it's some things I also need to work on as well because I just got a lot to work on. And even when I feel like I didn't reach my point where it's like I'm straight, I still feel like I got a lot to work on. So, I'm going to keep myself in prayers. I don't want nobody else praying for me because, I, baby, I need y'all to stop praying. <laughs> like, no. Mm -mm. But, uh, it's time to get right. It's time to get right and tighten up because... The energies out here is different. There's some wicked vibes out here. I'm seeing people. And also, let's speak on this. Um, it's people out here paying people for fake, fake STD testings. It's people out here trying to pass stuff around because they, they may have it. You know what I'm saying? And it's people out here this, um getting people getting people pregnant on purpose to trap them like y'all when i'm speaking i'm speaking on these situations not to judge these people but i'm i'm making awareness like awareness to things that i feel like they just need to be talked about because you have to be so careful like it's to the point now where i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do any first of all we ain't even gonna be doing this i'll be waiting to marriage and I don't care how people be like, oh, that's that's too personal. No, it is not personal. If you know you're walking with the Lord and you can you can point to any other conviction that somebody is doing, that means nobody is conviction and sins is off limits. Like my my best friend was talking about that. Everybody's sinning, so that means nobody's sin is off limits. So if this person is doing that and that person is doing that, you should not be saying something to this person. You're not saying something to that person because it's pride. Pride leads before destruction. So. We're not supposed to be prideful because pride leads before destruction. So I don't know, y'all. Some things, some things got to be different. Some things got to change because you got pastors. You got pastors out here. You got pastors out here doing stuff to children and and freaking asking people to pay for a spot in heaven to be reserved like is this a joke <laughs> like i be i be to the point where i be like god what are we really supposed to be believing in like because 
it's embarrassing out here like what what stands stands that's why i have it in my bio stand for something or fall for anything because what do people stand for like no we have to start holding each other accountable because iron sharpens iron if you if you see something that there's nothing in your circle if you see something that you feel like i'm doing that may not be the best tell me make me aware it was like oh you like this you should fix the way that you are tell me don't just point it out be like let, let the person know because one thing about me i know i never fail to let a person know like i feel like and but you can't even do that these days you cannot even do this today because the moment that you tell somebody about themselves they just say still or they feel like oh i don't want to talk to you for a minute because she's judging me yeah the christians shouldn't be judging and, and the bible says and this is my mama always said the bible says you can judge righteously you can judge righteously you don't have to put people down and disrespect people it's the way you say things but you can tell people when you think they're going in somewhat of a wrong direction you gotta hold people accountable like this video is 26 minutes long and i got things to do so i will check in with y'all later but all I'm gonna say is time to get right. No more playtime been over. It's time to lock in with the Lord. You watching this video? Lock in with God. That's all I gotta say. And me too. Like if you if you is gonna pray for me, if you somebody watching the video, you're gonna pray for me anyway. Pray that I lock in with God. Thank you.